A very good afternoon to you and welcome to Weekend at One this Sunday, the 12th day of November 2023. My name is Purity Museo Nzuki. We have quite a lot in store for you this day. The 810 Marathon uh, did happen today and we shall be going live right there to especially hear what the CS uh, for Sports Babu Namwamba says in that regard and also uh, regarding the welfare of sports women and men in the country. Our top story. And Senators have condemned the manner in which the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education examinations KCSC are being carried out in Gusi schools and demanded an apology from the Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Mashogu addressing the congregants of New Dawn Church at Bonyamatuta, a ward of West Mugirango constituency in Nyamira County. Nyamira Senator Okongo Omongeni said that Gusi schools performed exemplary well in the last KCSC results because of their hard work and claims of exam cheating were unfounded. Omongeni petitioned Mashogu to come out clear on the reasons for the mishandling of candidates and center managers from the region during the exercise. Stuart Matsayo, who is also the senator for Kilifi County, remarked that Omogusi community is an honest community and claims of exam malpractices are meant to trivialize the efforts made by the area learning institutions. Machogu ametoka hapa, ana tuelewa. Eh? Ana tuelewa hapa, hapa, hapa. Sasa sisi tutaitwa waizi wa mutiani paka lini jameni. Eh? Hei ndiyo CS education. Tunge, tunge tarajia ajitokeze inje. Atete omo gusi. Hakuna kitu tumefanya kuiba mutiani. Umezikia ata pasta anatoka hapa saizi anenda kuambea wanafunzi huko. Unatutezea wanafunzi wako wa form 4 watu waneza kufanya vitu mbaya. Hiyo pepo mbae ifanya nini? Shembe. Watu wamefanya bidii, wamesomesha watoto kwa shida, wamejenga maskuni kwa shida, wamelipa fees kwa shida, alafu wewe mwisho unakuja you trivialize the hard work of the kisi young men who go, who go to school and do exams. Shame on you. Kama watoto wa kisi wamesoma vizuri, the Omoguzi children wamesoma vizuri wamefanya bidii wamekuja number 1 in the country please just give them the opportunity to celebrate their victory hii serikali imetuvunja mioyo imetuvunja mioyo ruto has broken our hearts ruto has broken our families ruto has broken our children Ruto has broken our dreams. Lakini tumwambiwa kwamba kuna Mungu. And the Kenya National Union of Teachers Meru branch has announced that all nurses in Meru County will down their tools from Monday that tomorrow after the lapse of a 14 days notice issued to the county government of Meru. Speaking in Meru, the union secretary Nesbit Mugendi said that all their grievances including poor working conditions and promotions of nurses have not been addressed despite seeking audience with the employer who they accuse of ignoring them. They they have now vowed to stay out of work until all their issues are resolved. Many have stayed for more than seven to eight years to ten years, some even to 19 years without promotion. If you can't have career progression, then there is no need of you being in that job, and there is nobody who will cater for you when you retire. Your retirement will be, will be having so many problems that we don't want that. So the minimum requirement is anything that can resolve promotion issues. Among all other things, promotion is the don in our, is, is the don in our tissue. And nursing is a forgotten lot in all the sector. And today we are saying enough is enough. Should our issues remain to be unrest, we have one in between today and tomorrow to resolve the stalemate that is existing between the county government of Meru and the nurses in this county. So come Monday, 
we shall all proceed for a strike because we have lapsed the strike of the notice that we served the county that year of October. And therefore, uh, we just want to, uh, to notify the members of public to seek for alternative uh, areas where they shall take their patients and all other the unbeloved one because we shall not be providing services come Monday. Moving on, the government has been told to address the biting shortage of 